Hey guys, Fortuna here. We're here to do another hole breakdown. Uh, today we're at hole two at Seymour Park. The hole is 400 feet, slightly downhill. There's a pond on either side of the fairway. There's a couple trees right in the middle, kind of guarding a couple hyzer shots. I wanted to show a couple lines to show maybe what an intermediate player could do on this hole, looking to shoot a three rather than the pro and am one player so let's go take a look. All right, so here we're not looking to do anything too big. We're looking to get the easy three. So we're kind of trying to take the water out of play. I'm throwing an overstable fairway driver here, trying to get to that little landing zone that you can see that plays in between the two ponds and land just short of that to leave a nice open second shot to try to get it in the circle. So here's the shot here. The basket behind that little tree is about 60 feet. Just throwing a little right of that tree. This here is going to be an overstable mid-range for myself. I'm just looking to have a nice easy three. It's slightly short, skip up there for a pretty close putt. And as we're coming up to the lie, as you can see, this here we left ourselves with about a 15 foot putt. I'll just go ahead and tap this in and make the three. All right, so that seemed easy enough. Now let's go take a look at this hole, trying to play for the bird. All right, so there's a couple different ways you could probably play for the birdie here. I choose throwing straight at it with a fast disc. I throw a little hyzer flip with an enforcer. You can see it kind of stands up a little bit, rides right. It's gonna come back left. You can barely see it at this screen. There used to be a, a hyzer over the pond entirely. That line is pretty difficult now that those trees right in the middle kind of block that entire line. To go right of those trees and make it all the way back to the basket is a pretty long hyzer and you need the right wind. But as you can see here, left ourselves about a 30-35 footer. And that's one way to get the birdie. Alright, so this hole is... Uh, Pretty tough to go ahead and get the two. Playing it for the three is pretty straightforward. There's not too much danger that you're gonna get into unless you're grip locking it into the water or anything like that. The birdie is where it becomes more difficult because you are throwing over water. You're trying to throw it far enough to get over the water, but you're not you're not wanting to throw it far enough to where you get, end up in the shul behind it or ripping it over to the right and all these kinds of things. This hole tends to be more difficult than it looks on screen. Um, there's a lot more wind on this course, uh, more times than not. And usually on this hole, it's headwind rolls. So there's always a headwind. That's why there's a faster disc throwing hyzer flips. There are multiple different ways to play the hole. Uh, this for myself seems to be the easier, more conservative way to at least guarantee yourself getting a, a birdie putt. So thanks again for watching guys, uh, enjoy all the feedback, please remember to subscri subscribe, 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 like, all that good stuff, and don't forget to check out discbaron.com, again use my PDGA number to go get 5% off of all your purchases.